It is believed over 80,000 deaths and possibly 2 million injuries have been caused by polypropylene mesh. What is this mesh? It is hernia mesh, which is commonly used by doctors as a medical device used to repair hernias. Sadly, hernias happen quite often and most common treatment for your hernia will be surgery. This is because a hernia will not just go away. Now, there are two common ways for surgeons to repair a hernia. The traditional hernia repair, the surgeon sews the muscle tissue back together by hand stitching. This takes time and requires a high degree of surgical skill. The other way to fix hernia uses hernia mesh. Many doctors were sold on using hernia mesh to fix your hernia because they were told by using hernia mesh, the surgery will be faster and easier. The doctors were told by using this mesh, they could save time by applying a patch rather than hand sewing the hernia closed. Here's what the FDA is saying, quote, hernia repair surgery complications based on FDA's analysis of medical device adverse event reports and of peer-reviewed scientific literature, the most common adverse events for all surgical repairs of hernias with or without mesh are pain, infection, hernia reoccurrence, scar-like tissue that sticks together, this is called an adhesion, blockage of the large or small intestine, an obstruction, bleeding, abnormal connection between organs, vessels, or intestines, that's called a fistula, fluid buildup at the surgical site, seroma, and a hole in neighboring tissues or organs, called a preparation. The mesh was designed to help hold the muscles in your abdomen together. The mesh is designed to adhere or stick to your muscle walls. Unfortunately, the other side of the mesh is coated with a lubricant barrier that is supposed to keep the mesh from sticking to your organs. However, this does not work in all cases. The coating dissolves too quickly and the mesh may begin to stick to your internal organs. The problem is that the organs need to move freely inside your abdomen and the adhesions, if they are serious, can cause very bad side effects. If the adhesions restrict normal motion, you may have pain or injury to the organs, or the mesh may be pulled off your muscle tissue. If you've had hernia mesh and you've had to have a revision surgery, you may have a claim. A revision surgery would follow the following problems. Hernia mesh erosion or the hernia mesh sticking through the skin, hernia reopening, you develop the fistula that led to a surgery, severe or chronic abdominal pain causing a revision surgery, pelvic inflammatory disease, organ preparation, bowel paralysis, or sepsis. If you have had to undergo a second surgery after your hernia surgery, you may be entitled to significant compensation. If you have questions and would like a free consultation, please call my office. We are helping people all around the United States who have suffered a second surgery caused by hernia mesh. Please don't wait because you might lose your rights to recover significant compensation caused by hernia mesh. The time limit for most cases starts when you have had your revision surgery. If you've had your original hernia surgery several years ago and the mesh turned bad and if hernia mesh led to a second revision surgery, the time to bring your hernia mesh claim starts in most cases when you've had to have a revision surgery to fix the first hernia surgery, not from the date of your first surgery. Therefore, if you've had a second hernia surgery, please don't wait. Call my office today and we will find out if we are able to file a claim against the maker of your hernia mesh. And remember, you pay no fees unless we make a recovery for you.